to say hi to everybody? No. <laughs> no? Okay, hey everybody, this is going to be a little bit different than our normal video because I've got Caleb here with me, one of my five kids. That's right, I have five kids. In fact, our house has five kids from nine, from nine to a newborn, so... Yeah, we have a... There, is it loud around here? Yes. Is it crazy around here? Yes. Now, I was just talking to Caleb and he said it's a little bit messy around here and it doesn't get very clean, but I don't know. We try very, very hard to keep this place clean, don't you think? Sometimes. Sometimes. Whatever. Just sometimes? Yeah. Do you like cleaning? No. Why not? Because it's horrible. But you like cleaning your room, right? <laughs> no. No? What do you like to do? <laughs> play video games and play sports. What sports do you play? Basketball, yeah. soccer. So he's a competitive basketball player. He's only nine, but they already do competitive basketball. We're going to have three games a week coming up here shortly that Dad has to get you to, huh? Yep. Yeah. Well, anyway, apparently he gets most of our time. But uh, we've got a pretty cool product here. What's this, Caleb? It's the Sound Blaster Roar. The Sound Blaster Roar. Okay, now, how long have we had the Sound Blaster Roar? A couple weeks. Okay, we've had it a couple weeks now, and is it in the box? No. No? Why isn't it in the box? Because it's better without the box. <laughs> Why is it better without the box? You can see more of it. You can see more of it, and you can use it, right? Yeah. Okay, so we've been using it around the house, and I have to tell you, I got this thing, and I used it for a day. I put it out in the kitchen, and then it disappeared. What do you think happened to it? My mom took it. Mom took it? Yeah, it's true. Mom took it and I hardly could get it back. And she used it pretty much, and she has used it pretty much every single day. So hopefully a difference between us and reviewers, other reviewers out there that you'll find is I actually try to use the products that, that I get for as long as I possibly can uh, before I get in front of you guys. Now, you said, does this thing get pretty loud? You yeah. said? Okay, so how do we make it loud? You press the volume up button. And volume up button, okay. That's true. That's true. What else can you press? Can you press anything else? You can press the roar button. You can press the roar button up. Now, do you like Katy Perry's song, Roar? No. Don't like, but what about this? Do you like the roar on here? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, so if I'm just summarizing this for you guys, he, guys, he likes the roar button, but not the Katy Perry roar song. And... On the back here is a bass boost button, which really makes it so that you have pretty solid lows, mids, and highs. For a blue ten two speaker, I'd say even spectacular. Now, is this the best speaker that I've ever heard? No, but it's not one of those four or $500 per speaker setups. For what you get, for all the Bluetooth options, it's pretty sweet. And I'm going to go over the technical specifications here coming out. Anything else you want to say? I am awesome. He is awesome. His shirt even says, stand up, Caleb. Show him. It says, I am the real deal. So just go to show you. If you put your kid in basketball and they think that they're Michael Jordan, <laughs> they're going to think they're the real deal. Boom! <laughs> he does. Okay, more of what I think about this coming up. Okay, so one of the things that I really liked about that Creative is doing, the company behind the Sound Blaster Roar, is that they're adding a lot of features to their products. You don't just get a speaker. You're getting... Uh, multiple solutions. You're getting NFC pairing, you're getting Bluetooth, you're getting the latest technology and, and you can really see it here on the back and I think it's something that we'll see more of from other companies in the future. Uh, as you can see here you've got your DC input, your auxiliary in. You can hook this thing right up to your computer and use it as a speaker which uh, honestly it sounded pretty good. Just even a lot better than your basic computer speakers if you're willing to do that and then use it as a secondary Bluetooth option. Uh, micro USB, micro SD, it even has a recording option here with a microphone. Obviously you can use this thing with your phone um, and you can uh, shuffle through tracks, go forward, back, press your play buttons. It even has a security feature here which switch switches between a, uh, a friendly access connect mode and then an open access connect mode. And Last but not least, you've got here on the side an alarm, uh, which is a terab and the terabase mode button. So not sure exactly what you'd need the alarm for. Maybe this is one of these features that they could take off of here, but overall pretty cool uh, just to see all the different features that Creative has incorporated into their latest product. 
Here's the top. Here's the roar button we were talking about. Uh, uh, like Caleb said, you turn up the volume to get it loud. And this thing really does get loud. Um, you can press the roar button, you can press the bass button to make it even louder. Here's your NFC pairing, your Bluetooth, and your phone options are all covered through there. And overall, you just have a lot of sound coming from this thing in, in really every direction. If there was one thing that I would change, I like to listen to this product like this. I wish they had a little tab down here for those of us who are a little OCD so that we could prop it up because I notice I just get a little bit more sound and the sound just kind of directionally, it just sounds a little bit better. So maybe a suggestion there on their uh, second round. Okay, so I really think the Creative has something to be proud of here. They really hit the nail on the head, uh, really opened up the high-end Bluetooth space. And when you get a good speaker like this in the $150 range, it brings all the other high-end Bluetooth speakers down. The other one that you should look at in this space is the Bose Bluetooth speaker, but that's gonna cost you around $50 more. And I don't know if you're really gonna feel like you got a whole lot more. I do know that the Creative Sound Blaster uh, Roar has more features, so you can decide which one you'd rather purchase, but I think in the $150 range, this is the one to beat. Okay, hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Uh, and you know what, if you go out and buy the uh, Creative Sound Blaster Roar, please use my link in the description below to Amazon. It gives a small kickback to the channel. Uh, you can also let me know what you think about it if you've used it before in the comment section below. If you dis disagree completely with what I say, uh, I'd love to hear it as well. You can join our community at facebook.com slash top10gamer. Press like and subscribe so that this video can get uh, more views and more people can see it and the channel can grow. Uh, hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you next time.